Well, the home of the Speaker of the National Assembly, Nosiviwe Mapisa Ngakula, was raided by the investigative directorate this morning. Ngakula is accused of receiving millions of rands in cash as bribes from a service uh, when she was the Minister of Defence. Mapisa Ngakula is yet to comment on the matter ever since the allegations were levelled against her. The National Prosecuting Authorities Investigating Directorate can confirm that today, the 19th of March 2024, a search and seizure operation was carried out at the home of the current Speaker of Parliament, Ms. Nosiviwe Mapisa Ngakula, relating to an investigation that is conducted by the NPA's ID. At this stage, the NPA's ID will not be making any further comments. Well, President Cyril Ramaphosa was asked about the raid during the questions to him in Parliament. Do you accept that a Speaker's House being raided by the National Prosecuting Authority is a serious matter? And do you believe that she should step aside to protect the integrity of this House and its envisaged role in fighting corruption? The Honourable President. Order, Honourable Members, order. Honourable President, before you proceed, I recognize the Honourable Boroto. Oh, thank you, uh, Honourable House Chair. Honourable House Chair, this is a new question and it has nothing to do with what we are dealing with. This is pure, pure gossip. It's pure gossip and it's a cheap shot. I really want to appreciate that the President doesn't respond. Order, honourable members. Order, honourable members. Honourable members. The question posed by the honourable Grunewald specifically refers to, as an example, a deputy minister and members of the executive and the members' interest process. Now, this is a new question. This has no bearing on the primary question. And as order, honourable members, and as we know. A follow-up question must relate directly to the primary question that has been asked. Honourable Steer Nathan. House Chair, I'm not wanting to get into a quibble with you, but if, the rule, if you read the rule further, it says all arises from the response. The President opened the door when he said Parliament has a role to play in, in combating corruption. The President himself, in his response, has opened the door for us to now discuss Parliament's role in this, the Speaker as the representative... Order, Honourable Members. The Speaker as the representative of this House. Thank you. The door was opened by the President himself. Honourable, Honourable Member, now whether the door was opened by the President or not, the fact remains that the due process that the President has referred to has not been followed. And if you want to, you can submit the substantive motion or complain to the Ethics Committee so the Ethics Committee can consider the matter. Right. That, that is uh, where we are, Honourable Members. I don't know, Honourable President, if you want to respond to anything, but really this is a new question. Honourable Chair, House Chair, your ruling is my command. Well, staying with that story, the ANC's Chief Whip in Parliament, Pemi Majodina, has responded to the raid. We have seen that uh, there was a raid at Honourable Speaker's uh, house this morning. We regard to Hawks as an agent that is separate from us as Parliament and let's allow the due process to unfold. At the moment, we don't know what are their findings and it will be premature for us to comment negatively or positively as caucus let's allow the due process to unfold everyone must be given a benefit of doubt up until there is a concrete report on the findings and recommendation thereof at the moment we are also watching the space let the process unfold we will comment at the right time when there are proper findings 
All right, now let's get analysis. We are now joined by the head of legal affairs at Alta Advocate, Stephanie Fick. Uh, Stephanie, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. Just your reaction then as Alta by this raid. We understand, of course, this was a five-hour raid at the Speaker's house. And uh, I don't know how much of uh, the National Assembly deliberations you heard, uh, President Cyril Ramaphosa not uh, re responding to one question being asked there about whether or not the speaker will uh, be removed uh, you know from her duties given uh, this particular development so um you know it's always good news to hear that the you know the law enforcement agencies are you know actually still working um we are really waiting for some of the state capture cases so that is also that's always good news um, in, in, in terms of, you know, the questions that was asked in Parliament, um, et cetera, et cetera, one must remember the following. The, 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 the right to be considered innocent until proven guilty only applies to an accused person. So that is the person that is already charged and is on its way basically to court, is considered innocent until proven guilty. So what we are sitting here with is, for me, a question of, of, um, you know, ethical behavior, ethical leadership, um, and do we expect this type of behavior, uh, you know, just this whole conversation in Parliament um, to be, you know, an example of we want to eradicate corruption. Now, I'm not saying that someone should just be summarily removed because there's allegations. But this is allegations coming from, um, you know, a while, I think it's 2021, or when she, you know, she was appointed in 2021. You know, this was for even before her tenure as, as speaker. We're talking about a raid, and one has to assume, although that's dangerous, but one has to assume that there were certain facts uh, placed before a magistrate or a, a, a judge before a, a warrant is, um, you know, executed in, in, in this sense. So the question is, I, I don't think that this is frivolous charges. And what I would expect in Parliament is to have an honest and open discussion about it and not just, you know, we can't ask the question because it's a new question. I know one has to have respect for the processes in Parliament, but one would also expect politicians and the executive to have a robust discussion about whether, um, you know, this is a question of someone that should stand aside while the investigation is continuing and, 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 and whether this person should stay if we consider a stance that we want to eradicate corruption. And I mean, um, Advocate uh, Fick, it's just one of the, um, of course, the points that was made, uh, you know, uh, in the session today with uh, President Cyril Ramaphosa was that, um, you know, should um, the president had expedited the, um, you know, the, the lifestyle audits, as an example, you know, some of these issues, uh, especially when matters of uh, senior members of the cabinet are implicated um, in a co a corruption, in, you know, underhandedness, particularly with contractors, these matters would have been, uh, you know, seen way in advance and, and perhaps even, uh, you know, prevented. Um, and of course, President Cyril Ramaphosa was uh, there today to answer, you know, in terms of the progress that is being made into these lifestyle audits. He, of course, uh, um, said that, you know, that this matter is still ongoing, um, even though these were undertakings that he made in 2018. Yeah, I think, you know, I'm always wondering <laughs> if this was an ordinary South African, you know, just an, an, an ordinary person who has been accused of, of these types of things, where would this person be? Probably, you know, being um, investigated by police and, and if there is a case, there would be a prosecution. So do we treat um, certain individuals differently than, than others? Of course, one needs to respect someone's position. But I think in, in, in certain, uh, one like to say that what's good for the goose is good for the gander. And then the question is, why did it take so long for an investigation? Uh, I mean, even Parliament needs to, in terms of their ethics um, committee and all of that, has got a duty to, to investigate certain allegations. Now we are here and we are still, it appears, sitting back and saying, 
you know what we will uh, let's see what happens and 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 if this person is then prosecuted maybe we will do something um I do think we seriously need to consider um, the stance about not just someone being found guilty, not being appropriate for a position, but the fact that we need to send a message. We need ethical leadership. We need ethical leadership in Parliament because those are the people that are supposed to um, speak on our behalf. So in terms of... You know, the lifestyle audits is, I agree with you wholeheartedly, this should have been done a long time ago. Investigations should have been finalized by now so that we know whether there is, you know, something there, where there's, is there, where there's smoke, there's fire. Um, and our, our judicial system are there for if someone is accused of something, let, it go, let them go through the process in order to find out whether they are guilty or not. All right, uh, Advocate Fick, thank you so much uh, for your analysis and, of course, your action uh, out as uh, uh, head of legal there, Stephanie Fick, for us.